Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We're going back to Minlus. Um, if you remember, in the last few episodes, that didn't go too well. However, we've changed the rocket a bit. We've added this. I'm hoping this is overkill. I'm hoping. So we got a, a um, our main rocket in the middle there, a skipper, and three massive SRBs, all going off at the same time at launch. Giving us a thrust to weight ratio, these have been throttled back a bit. Thrust to rate ratio of 1.37. And then we get rid of those guys here. And carry on with just the skipper engine. And that will reduce our thrust to weight ratio to 1.41. At that point, we'll be down to 1.9 with the much lighter rocket, which I've added a swivel jet engine instead of the um, smaller LV-909. And this is going to be our translunar injection or transminimus injection, hopefully this time, leaving us this section here for the minimus landing. Solar particle collection to do high over Kerbin, a high over Minmus, low over Minmus will be the three collections that we need because we haven't got full of those. And then we've got Mystery Goo, Thermometer, Barometer, um, and Material Bay for on the surface. We'll also get ourselves a uh, um, surface sample and plant a flag. 8000 Delta V should be enough. That is considerably more. Let's uh, just load the old one. Lander 1 was only 6,000. So we're adding 2,000 Delta V. And we're going to do it right this time as well. Much, much more. Much more for the job. So let's launch that. We're not going to bother doing anything fancy like trying to land, uh, trying to uh, trying to land, yes we're going to try and do them. Ah, Bill's jumped on board. Let's just see if there's any science because we're going to recover this vessel. A uh, surface sample is the only one we could do. Oh, we could do a material study. How can we... There must be a way to... No. Camera. Free camera. There we go. How do I go up? There must be a way. Other than just looking up like that. Uh, not mystery Q. Not the command module. Come on, where's the material bay? No, so it must be this one here. Point three. There we go. And then we're going to recover the vessel with that point three of science. And we'll go again. Okay, so we got uh, Cadet in there now, so we'll put the SAS on and throttle up and uh, go for takeoff. Going up a little slower than I expected, but let's get in there. We go straight up for a little bit, just because we haven't got an awful lot of um, of control. Start throttling back a bit now, as uh, as the weight comes down, the thrust to weight ratio is going to increase. And although we want to pick up speed, we don't want to go too fast while we're still very, very low in the atmosphere. How are we doing? 3,000, apoapsis 4.5, 5,000. There we go, 5,000, we'll start moving over just a little bit.
just coming up through the, the really thick atmosphere, just coming into the thinner stuff. Hitting about 300 meters per second at about 10,000. That's okay, I think. Lose these solid rocket boosters soon. Oh, 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 oh. Don't really want to be losing it. Control like this. There we go. As soon as we lose these solid rocket boosters, we should be more controllable. Let's accelerate up. There we go. Let's get rid of those. Oh, they bounced off the craft a little bit, but that's alright. They may have hit each other on the way down as well, but... We're pretty much burning along that 90 degree angle, which uh, will be getting us a good orbit, hopefully. Going well, I think, so far. So far, no major complaints. Lapple switched to orbit mode, that's always a good sign. It thinks we're going to get into space, so uh, just trying to ease it over a bit more now because we're at an Apple Apsis of 60,000. That's nice, just there. Let's maintain that there. Picking up speed, we're already going um, 1200 meters per second and climbing very, very quickly now. Need a bit more height yet. And our apoapsis has now hit space. Or our projected apoapsis has hit space, should I say. So we'll cut the engines there. Set ourselves a nice manoeuvre on the apoapsis. That gives us possibly a bit too much height there. That'll do. What's it saying? 41 second burn, so with 20 seconds to the node, we'll probably want to hit it. I've got, not got very much control at all without the engines burning because uh, the little reaction wheel in the top of the craft somewhat struggling with all this weight. Oh, just coming down there now. There we go. Delta V total still is still 1,000 and 1,600 in this stage alone. So this stage actually might start a trans Minimus burn, which would be, uh, which means we've got we got far too much fuel. It's always, oh, time to go. Before we start on our way down, we're just past our apoapsis. We're now on our way down, but hopefully before we got 4,000 meters, we'll get our periapsis up and out of the atmosphere before we have to worry about getting into the atmosphere ourselves. Periapsis is almost now. Here it comes. It's coming out. Oh, stop. For some reason my control key didn't seem to be functioning. Maybe I have to have this up for that to function. Um, so 72 here and 196 there. Right, okay, that's fine. That's not a problem. We can cope with that. Right, where are we going to go today? We're going to go to Minmus. Set as target. What's our inclination doing? That's... Where are we? Minmus landed too. That's it. Coming around to this one. Ooh, we're off a little bit, but that is our descending node. So we'll go up 3.7. 1.7, 0, 0.1. I'll just move that around just a tad. There we go. So that will take us 199 delta V, which we've got 809 still remaining. Mech Jeb. 
maneuver node uh, editor. Um, execute that burn, please. F5 for a bit of safety. And now he's struggling. It's going to be a seven second burn with this engine. It's a big, powerful engine we've got. Um, still carrying quite a lot of weight still, though. We've still got ourselves a mass of 26,000 kilograms, a lot less than when we started. The node is going to be there in 11 minutes. And hopefully the very slow rotation of of the craft will get us onto that point in enough time. So it's about 200 meters per second to sort out an inclination. What that is doing is getting us in the same tilt orbit. See how that's going like that? We are going to put ourselves into that position. I think we were slightly going the wrong way to be honest with you. Not by much. So we correct that. So we can take 200 delta V. Plenty of delta V to do this. There it goes. It's on the node. So it's now automatically time warping us to get us into position. And it's going to take us out of time warp. And main engine start in four, three, two, one, zero. Does it slightly before so that your middle of your burn is right on your target. And then shutting the engine down. Perfect. We've now got an ascending node of 0 point of, of point 0 one, which is fine. Right, where is Minmus? Anyone spot Minmus? There's Minmus there. So is that us there? Wow, we are really near. Oh, gotta get on the blue line. Add a maneuver. And let's get going. Right. Bit too far. Right, so that's our closest approach and that's where the target's gonna be. So that tells me um, we probably started a bit too early. So let's just bring that around. Oh, maybe too late. Maybe we need a bit more gas. There we go, bring it around. See whether we can get these guys to match up. That's pretty close. They're a bit closer now. There we go, and we've got an encounter. That encounter is 1.4, uh, will give us a periapsis of 1.489. Um, and because we're going around that side of it, that will speed us up a little bit, give us a little bit of a boost. That's why we'll be coming back slightly wider. But what we'll do, we'll go with that, and then we will adjust it as we get nearer. Um, I'm going to let Mechjeb do this manoeuvre for us as well. Execute the next node, please, computer. Again, it's turning us very slowly. So that's going to cost us 931 delta V. We've got 610 of it in our current stage, which is which is probably too much. We're going to get obviously use that um, that stage. Then we'll initiate the stage and start the second engine. And that will finish off this burn. So there may be some inaccuracies because of that, because the second engine is a lot less powerful than this one. But this stage is our launch stage. It wasn't really designed to even do this part of the burn. So we're 610 delta V to the good, as far as I can, as far as I can um, guess from from the planning stage anyway. 
Here we go. We are about to start. There goes the engine. Throwing out that apoapsis. And we'll start pushing it out towards Minmus. Just looking how much Delta V is remaining, so we'll have to do the stage, I believe. So get ready for that. Yep. Give it a second to move away. Whoa! It blows up the uh, decoupler. <laughs> I thought I might have given it enough room, but not quite. <clears throat> but this engine, a lot lighter now. Less than 10,000 um, kilograms. And there it is, slowing us down for that. Oh, oh some weird um, encounters on the way back, but we won't be coming back quite that soon. Excellent. Um, we're now, there's a, um, our debris going to be doing a bit of a smaller orbit. We're going to be flying off in this direction. Um, and that's pretty good. We've got an ascending node of 0.1, so that's not too bad. And when we get a little bit closer, we'll do a little bit of an adjustment on there. So F5, because we're really, really pleased with that. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please consider giving me a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to hear about when I do some more videos. In the meantime, if you want to click on one of the other videos that I've done on uh, on a different game, then uh, these are my latest ones, please go ahead. Or if you click on the next video in this series, that'll take you directly to the next video in this series if I've done it and uploaded it. Thanks for watching.